Okay, good morning everyone. It's Tuesday the 2nd of August um, and we're just about at 7.30. Yesterday on the FTSE we had a nice um, down day, quite a lot of bearish sentiment. What I'm really hoping is that this is the start of the downward move um, that we've been looking for and that I've been going over for a couple of weeks now. Really, you know, expectations at least back into the 65 hundred levels um, thing to go over quickly is it is August now August can be a tricky trading month um, volatility can drop right off um, you know a lot of traders go on holiday and the market can flatten out on quite a few trading days when this happens I just don't trade you know I just watch the open of the FTSE the first sort of 45 minutes an hour if volatility is very low, I just walk away for the day. Um, beginner traders especially, you know, if we have very tight ranging choppy sideways days, it can cause you a lot of problems and it's just not worth the, the stress. Um, it can put you back quite a ways as a trader um, if you are a beginner. Coming into today, um, as I've mentioned, I'm hoping this is the start of the downward move and because of that really I'm looking to sell rallies. Currently where we are, um, up towards the pivot level today, 6, 7, 10 is going to be a very nice area to watch for trades and up towards 6, 7, 50 which has been one of our key levels for quite some time now. That's what I'm going to be watching. Also, what I'm going to be looking for is a blind buy today, just a quick bounce up. If we remain at this zone here, I'll be watching for that at the open. Um, and I'll see if that comes in. Hopefully it does. You know, a quick early morning trade would be um, nice. But apart from that, there's nothing really else to go over from today. I am just looking for this downward move to start coming in any other month I would be happy to say that this is the start of it but with it being August um, I'm just being a little bit more cautious and um, just letting the market show me that it's going to continue with the downward move um, but hopefully you know hopefully as I mentioned this is the start of the pullback that we have been looking for okay so I'll come back later on today take you through what the market did and for zone traders I'll go through potential trades um, that you you guys could have taken. Okay, so the market has dropped off of the side of a cliff this morning. It came all the way down. Um, however, it has then reversed down at the 6.30 levels, came up, broke through the zone, um, made a pullback, and it has produced an engulfing candle. Um, for me, in August especially, I am only looking for reduced profits, smaller trades, so I will be watching how we react if we get up into the 6672 sort of level. Um, the other thing I'm watching is previous highs over here. Uh, we've came down, we've made a pullback, and this is where the market has fallen off once again. So I am watching these levels for signs of a reaction. And that's the sort of area that I look um, to give me early clues, early indications of how the trade is going. Okay, so um, that's all I'm looking for. That's all I'm wanting the market to do is pop up a little bit into the next zone. Um, so let's see how it goes. Uh, yeah, moving forward into August, with days like this, I am likely going to um, purely trade the morning session um, and then leave the market for the rest of the day. Um, you know, with such low volatility, um, it's a little bit more difficult to pick out the perfect trades. And also, it can be very frustrating when you're sitting in trades like this. Sometimes they can last for hours with the market just sort of tr um, drifting sideways, not really making any significant move. In the morning, you still tend to have a little bit of volatility. And really, this morning, what I wanted to do was get into the short, which took us all the way down there. The analysis this morning was... And the market falling away. We were looking, um, sorry, we, um, the subscribers and I were looking to get short 
However, we just didn't get any very clear cut opportunities. I would have liked the market to have popped up a little bit early on um, and then given the sell signals, but it just sold off basically straight from the open. Okay, so six points from that trade. Um, I wasn't even willing to let it get up here and then watch the reactions um, with the market moving so slowly. That is ample for me today. Uh, I'll come back at 4.30, guys. We'll go over this market. We'll have a look at what it did. Um, and I'll take you through any potential trades that there were. Okay, just past 25 to 5. Uh, the FTSE is now closed. First thing we can see is we have had another down day, a slightly smaller down day today. But nonetheless, this is the start of the weakness that we have been expecting in this market. It's been grinding higher um, very, very slowly, prodding to the upside. Uh, but the bulls have made no real progress for the last couple of weeks, sort of two to three weeks. Uh, I've been expecting some sort of a pullback. And this is the market starting to give us it now for me it being august um, i'm only taking you know the odd trade a couple of trades smaller trades i took the spike up in the morning it was only six points and i took the live trade which was shown uh, which was also only another six points what we can see is the entry was after this candle and the target was up here actually after i exited the market came back down again strongly uh, for me today, trading opportunities, really I wanted to find a reason to get short in the morning and catch onto this move, which is what um, I was expecting. I was expecting more selling to come in. However, there was just no good setups. There was nothing for me to, no reasons for me to get into the market, no um, confluences, confirmation. And on days like that, unfortunately, you just have to sit it out. Um, so the bullish engulfing candle right here took up what you can actually see is after you get up here you get a bearish engulfing candle straight away the only thing to watch with entries like this are the fact that you have little areas of support and resistance you can see there's, there's your clue right there that it's going to be an area of support the market comes down edges along there and then comes down into the next zone. Now there's nothing to say when you see these candles and um, the market's not going to shoot back up. You need to analyze the, the market as the candles are forming. You can see you're getting indecision candles, doji, 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 and um, doji. It's giving no real bullish sentiment. Then you get a strong bearish candle and down the market comes. Um, you know, if you're trading in between zones like this, it's very important to go over that. Um, you can't have the expectation of this market coming through the zone. Uh, it's not a sensible way to trade. Um, you know, the zones are there because they are strong levels of support and resistance. If you get reactions at these levels like this, you know, it's, it's a clear indication and a good indication uh, that it's time to get out. Or if not, you exit as the market reaches the zone or certainly close partial profits. Um, you get the engulfing here that comes down. You get an engulfing going straight back up. Um, this one breaks through this little area of support and resistance, but you've created another one right here. This is the sort of thing that you should be paying attention to uh, when you're in trades. You know, it's little areas in the market, little clues that potentially um, your trade is going to have some sort of resistance or support in the way. The market comes up straight into the zone once again. You get your piercing candle here, which triggers. The market comes down. It comes down into where? The area that we have just identified right here it comes down it reacts off of it and when you see these reactions you've got a couple of choices and um, you know this is a relatively strong zone so it's um, you know you'd expect especially after such a strong sell today you'd expect the market if you are making these good signals up here to come down at least into the next zone however in in a trade when the market comes down touches your area where you're expecting some sort of support and then starts to show action like this, you know, you can bring your stop to break even, you can come out of the trade for a very small profit. Um, you know, it can be frustrating doing that, but it's the safest way to trade. Long term, you want to trade the safe trades. You know, that's the ones that are gonna give you consistency. You know, you're not looking for, um, you know, the one trade that's gonna be huge. Cause if you do that, you're gonna keep 
remaining in trades which are moving against you, you're going to keep getting stopped out. You want consistent trades that you can repeat day after day after day after day, and they will continue to provide you with um, a good return. As you can see, the market comes back up again, and even if you'd exited, even if you got stopped at a break even, what do you get right here? You get an engulfing candle. Where are you expecting the market to come down to? The next zone. Where's your management point? Right here. It breaks straight through it, comes down, touches the zone, and that is where it rejects from. Um, okay, so for me, that's everything, guys. The only way I would say is if you were expecting the bearish continuation, you know, the market was still in a downtrend, entering trades into here, from here, sorry, when you get into your first area of support, you're closing partial profits, and, and that allows you to let the move run to catch the rest of the trade. Or, you know, you close at your level, um, your target, your first target. Okay, guys, hopefully that was helpful. Coming up um, the next couple of weeks, there will be the new Decisive Trading website. Um, thanks for all the feedback on that. I know it was definitely time to upgrade the website. Um, and next couple of weeks, it will be here. Okay, I'm James Orr, and thank you.